Uh, what is going on guys? So, I uh, wasn't really planning on doing a video today, but um, yeah, got off work a bit early, so shut down to the river. Intention was just to test out a new little prototype layer of the pod. Pod it last night, so it's like really rough. Just wanted to test out the swimming action basically, but ended up having like an hour with it. Caught a few fish, so might as well uh, make a video of it. So yeah, it's very rough, like I say, it was... Uh, just like a quick paw full of bubbles. I don't even put any eyes on it or anything. But um, yeah, caught some fish, so I made a video. Um, explain a bit about this lure in the video as well, if you're interested. Um, why I've made it. And what's special about it, in my opinion, anyway. So yeah, hope you enjoy. Um, and yeah, it's getting a bit hard to film videos at this time of year. Because, you know, it's like half four now and it's dark. So... <laughs> Yeah, not got much time, but we managed to squeeze one together today. So yeah, hope you enjoy. And uh, yeah, make sure you watch it all too. There we go. That's a decent fish as well. Oh yes, dude. Oh, on my homemade shad. <laughs> Literally been fishing like 10 minutes with this. And it might get one who's used to slay. That's not a bad fish at all, that. Hopefully we won't throw the hooks. <laughs> first fish after remaking my homemade shad. In like, first one in like three years. He's nailed it as well, got them hooks right deep. Best nest, I think. Not as big as it looked, actually. It looked massive when I first saw it. Well, it hit like a big fish, at least, anyway. Oh, he's tugging now. There it is, in the net. First one. Well, not the first one on the homemade shad, but the first one on the homemade shad. Since I made it again, not even glued any eyes on it. Done a proper colour or anything. And that's leached up already. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Awesome, awesome wear this. I'll talk about it when I've unhooked him. Just took it quite deep, I think, that back treble. Normally struggle to catch when it's not windy on air, but he proper wanted that. That treble's uh, well in there, so I'll get players on him. There we go, troubles are out. Not a bad fish. I don't think it'll go 80 though. Maybe 75er. Oh no, it's 80. 81. You can't see it obviously because he's slipping off, but yeah. 81 centimetre. Not a bad fish. Get it put back. Nice fat belly on it. Sweet as. That might have been my biggest fish from this stretch, you know. Managed to get a hook in that bit of net that's not rubber rubberized. Right, so quickly parred this one last night because I wanted to see how it was swimming. 
just made a new mold but first made this shad back in 2017 I think um, first time fishing with it caught my PB which is still my PB today <laughs> fished made a few caught tons of fish and then just stopped making them but yeah this is a very rough one but my idea with these as you can see it's got a totally different tail shape to any others it's started off as a diamond and I've sort of made it a bit more like sideways square thin tail um, and I made these to have like a super either slow or fast retrieve to have a super 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 wide kick on that tail so you see how slow I'm working at. it's got such a wide action um, and yeah it's uh, <laughs> yeah the fish absolutely love it super wide kick rolls you can you can rip it i'll show you now rip it fast as you want and it, it won't won't roll over stays super nice most shads you can't cast far but this one again this is something i did on purpose for it you can see rattle sticking out of it everywhere but heavier at the front and that is so you can get a massively long cast as you can see stays super streamlined in the air because of that as well like the tail tangles far less than some shads that are you know tail heavy middle heavy or whatever in the they're all over places stays super super true in the air so yeah i put a bit of time into developing this never got it perfect but i feel like i've got it how i want it to be now so i just need to figure out my molds and uh, make a few nice looking ones. Like I said, this is just a super rough one that I pulled last night and that fish crushed into it. So good. I wasn't actually expecting to catch anything today with it being uh, no wind. I never catch when it's not windy on this uh, particular stretch of river for whatever reason, but yeah, crushed it. 82 centimeters probably uh eight or nine pound but not a bad fish that you could tell it proper wanted that way how deep that aqua and yeah potentially if i get these exactly as i want them i'm not bothered aesthetically not putting fins or scales on or anything but if i get these how i want them action wise which is the main thing when it comes to lures in my opinion i might put a few out to sell as well see if other people can do well with them that'd been one of my like for the short time i use them one of my more productive lures that's for sure and i just kind of stopped stopped making them so it's taking so much effort to <laughs> get them Get him how I wanted him, but yeah, I'm gonna try again now. Oh, just got bumped. I think that might have been a small fish though. There's bumping ages, that. Well, since I caught that fish. Proper bumper. Right, come back. Soft plastic there.
looks to be a bit more colorant water down here as well should make it easier in theory to see that uh. white's dropping getting more colorant water should be easier to trick them at least even with no wind Oh, there's loads of bait fish down there. Looks like a shoulder roach. So, there yeah, it should hit this. Must not feed him. And you can see a shoal moving a bit further down as well. It's mad how that first bit I fished. Didn't see any bait fish at all. And now looking down the river, I can see three or four shoals moving so yeah a bit more confidence shame i've not got hardly any time to fish all right and then right out ahead all that <laughs> as soon as i find the bait i'm kiting right into edge of there bring over here a bit and then i'll get down Right in the middle of that one hit it. <laughs> so sick. He just like winged one right down. And he nailed it. I don't even know how big it is to be fair. Didn't look big but it feels like it's digging. It feels big but it doesn't look it. And it's tiny. There's a little mad jack actually putting up such a good fight. What the hell? <laughs> Maybe it is big. It looked tiny, but putting up a right by it. Yeah, it's only small. A little fatty though. <laughs> oh, I find so much harder than they do in summer. Right, I don't know if you saw me land that fish because my camera just died, but proper nailed this shad i've got it in net cell so i can show you it but just in another pike chasing so i'm gonna get a cast on that quick as i can hopefully i'll take this proper just smash some bait right in the middle i don't know which way it's gone now but <laughs> it was uh definitely feeding out for it twice so Still bait moving a bit far. Oh, look at all that fly spraying about there. It's got a bit of pipe smashing. Good thing I've got a long cast shad, so I can go right over that. Perfect spot. Please don't say it's tangled. Perfect spot. Come on. Come on. It's exactly where I just caught this one, that. I just saw them fry scatter. Proper chasing. Looks like smaller bait fish though, so I might be after something of this size. I'll let this pipe go in a sec. I'll uh, show you after this cast. I hope you saw me land that because it's proper mullet blur. It's a bit tangled, this I think. Yeah. Tangled, that's go ahead and get out then. Is that crazy one? It might go 80. I think it's probably about 80 again. That I'll probably get a length on it to be fair. It's definitely smaller than the last fish. Let me see. 75. So, second pike. Nice looking fish though. 75 centimeter. Beauty. Get it back. Try to catch some more. There's quite a few around here. Oh, 
Ooh. We'll call it in a second. Probably have like four or five more casts. But a bit dark now. Not much biting, but I've had two fish. Really, the idea of today, I just wanted to come make sure this lure was swimming sound and uh, yeah, it's sweet as. So, yeah, gonna put some work getting it looking. Oh shit. Get the weeds. I just wanted to make one that is stable, but has a good tail action as well. Slow and fast retrieve, and this is, this is it. It's got flaws obviously, you can't have a, a shad that does everything, but I'm well happy with how this has turned out to be fair, so yeah. Get a new mould made, we're a better looking master, and um, get a few made up. Get some eyes on them as well, this one's not even got eyes or anything, and it's uh, yeah, getting smashed full of air bubbles. So yeah, that'll do it for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Pretty much the same as all my other videos, just for a different layer, but <laughs> still. I can't really do much when uh, I don't have any spare time to go places to film. I'm currently in lockdown or whatever, so I can't really travel far to fish. But, yeah, that'll do it for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already, and uh, yeah, hopefully catch you in the next video and we'll catch some better fish and more fish. So yeah, peace.